the first element we'll bring into our game is this thing called a rope or a string yeah the first and most important assumption about the string is that if you do apply a force on it in this direction try to stretch it out its length will not change in other words it's not like a rubber band whose length increases and then comes back but no matter what force you apply we assume that the string is going to retain its length yeah we call it the law of conservation of string length and whenever you see in a question the word inextensible string what it means is that this string's length in this direction will be a constant as long as it is taut the word taut will mean that the string is not being pushed inside and becomes all what's called slack so as long as you keep it in a straight line its length is going to be a constant so if i take this inextensible string and attach one end of it to a block on a horizontal surface and i hold the other end and start walking after some time let's say delta t my displacement let's say is x what will the displacement of the block be because the string is taut and because it doesn't change its length the displacement of the block must also be x right it seems clear from this picture now if both of this took time delta t then the average velocities also must be the same for both and you know that if i make this delta t really really small even then this relationship will hold which means the instantaneous velocity must also be equal for both of them right now because i've started with displacement and given an argument for velocity i can do something very symmetric for going from velocity to acceleration so this must imply that the acceleration must also be equal if this argument seems a little long let's take another one let's move into the frame of reference of that man what will he see he turns back and looks at the block throughout his journey he will see the block being at rest from his point of view and if this must be true every variable right displacement velocity acceleration all of this must be equal for both of them otherwise this would not happen so both these arguments you can use to show that in such a scenario where two objects are connected by an inextensible string and the movement happens in a direction where the string is taut the two bodies must have the same displacement the same velocities and the same accelerations now imagine that this man is pulling that block dragging it along with him and moving such that both of them are on acceleration of a now you know one of them as a the other has to have a that's what we've shown in the previous part now let's look at that block alone and draw the free body diagram of that block because the block doesn't know or doesn't care whether the man is at the other end of the rope pulling it all that the block will know is a rope is pulling me right so as far as if you take the block separately all you will do is represent the force with which the rope is pulling the block with say some f yeah is there any other force on the block yeah if you're really precise yeah there is a gravitation mg downwards gravitation force and the normal reaction from the ground upon it yeah these two cancel each other we only care about this axis now so only forces the f by the rope or the string now what acceleration is this block at a so there is only one force so the net force is that force only so net force is f yeah equals mass of that block into acceleration you're done now whenever that force is by a string we give it another name we don't call it f we call it t yeah what does this t stand for tension in the string it's nothing different other than saying this force particular force is by a rope or a string not by something else to keep learning with such engaging videos download byju's the learning app today